I am just going to give you the facts. You decide. Shortly, hard-pressed Hartlepool residents are going to have a new council tax bill through their letterbox, complete with the latest 3.9% increase, voted for in December 2018 by the Labour-led Borough Council. Here's some facts, though, that you may not realise. At the July 2017 Finance and Policy meeting, the Director of Finance and Policy, which we believe to be Mr Chris Little in 2017, told the Council that, quote, in the spring 2017 budget, the Chancellor announced the establishment of a national £300 million discretionary fund over four years to help support those businesses facing the steepest increase in their business rate bills as a result of the 2017 National Rateable Value Revaluation Exercise. The report also went on to say, the government expects that business rate billing councils will use their share of the national funding to develop their own local relief schemes to deliver targeted support to the most hard-pressed business rate payers. The director included in his report a list of local businesses that would benefit in the period 2017-18, and in all, a total of £94,600 was shared between 135 businesses in Hartlepool to reduce their council tax burden. However, just under a third of the £94,600 allocation went to just two companies. These were Rubicon Pastimes Limited. Rubicon Pastimes are listed as owning the Talk of the Town Arcade on the Seton Crew front. They were in receipt of £11,486 of tax relief. Rubicon's public records filed at Company's House show a net profit in 2018 of just under half a million pounds. The other recipient is PD Ports, who received £18,707 in business rate relief. In 2017, PD Ports reported after-tax profits of £12.7 million. So two companies reporting after-tax profits totaling over £13 million were categorised by Hartlepool Borough Council as hard-pressed and consequently received business rate relief of just over £30,000. Hmm. Please like and follow Hartlepool TV on Facebook and YouTube.